All right, back here on Study Ball Talking Championship Defense once again this week. We took a look at the base coverages that this Tampa Bay defense and Todd Bowles ran throughout the playoffs. Their change up with that is they love to run zone dogs. And so what is a zone dog? We hear that term thrown around all the time. Oh, that was a zone dog. All that simply means when we talk about dogs is that means that one of the linebackers or an extra guy is blitzing. That is what a dog is. Usually a blitz is when a team's playing man to man, they're bringing extra guys. A dog is usually when a team is bringing five guys. Sometimes it could only be four guys, uh, just like they were if it was a, a pass rush. But behind that, instead of playing man to man coverage, they're dropping into some sort of zone. One of the hardest things for any quarterback to see is, oh man, they're bringing pressure over here. You think you have man, you can go to your man beater, but then all of a sudden guys are popping out and guys are dropping down and people are running to different spots because they're trying to play a typical zone coverage behind it. Todd Bowles and company does a great job of changing things up with their zone dogs and making offenses think. First session, we talked about how they make offenses think because every week they bring a different approach. They don't just do what they do. They're going to throw something different at you every week. Taking more time. Have to think as a quarterback. Okay, now we're going to show different pressure looks. We're going to show different coverage looks. Now we're going to bring pressure and we're going to pop different guys out and play zones. Making guys think. Making guys hold the football and letting the front four or the pressure guy with the guys up front to get after the quarterback. But all we're trying to do as a defense every week is make the quarterback hold the football. Make the quarterback think a little bit longer. Make the quarterback think you're going to get something and then show them something else. This Tampa Bay defense and Todd Bowles did a great job of that last year. Okay, so here we go. First round of the playoffs. Okay, as they're coming down, you're wondering, okay, what are they going to play? It looks like we could be in a man-to-man -man look right here. Okay, man, man. Man, this guy walked up in man, man, safety sitting back there, free, okay? So now this guy's free, they could bring pressure, what are they going to do here? But it looks like a man-to-man -man coverage. On the snap, what are they going to do? They're going to bring two interior guys. So they bring two interior guys here, and we're going to drop Shaq off right here, and he's going to drop into coverage, even though they are or at least appears to me that they're still playing a version of man-to-man. -man. They're playing a combo-type man. Maybe you call it just a cover three, but you'll see we're going to chase there. Shaq's going to drop, and then he's going to turn and wheel here. We're going to wait for the deep, deep, deep guy with that guy. We're going to play man back here. We're going to play man back here. we got the safety over the top. Now we're only rushing three defensive linemen, and we're bringing different kinds of looks, and what happens? Somebody messes up because they're giving us all kinds of different looks, and one of those free blitzers to the inside gets after the quarterback. Zone dogs, all right, what are we seeing here? They're popping up, looks like they're gonna bring pressure back to that side. Okay, gotta be ready for that if I'm a quarterback on the snap. What do they do? Nope, we're not gonna bring it from that side. We're gonna bring our pressure here. And then we're going to use these other guys to play zone. We talked about, played a lot of cover three against the Washington football team in the first round. We're going to run back to a cover three. Now, this guy's going to play to the flat. Linebacker who's on the other side is going to run over here to play the middle to the hook area, drop the defensive end out to play middle to hook area on the weak side. And my safety that drops down is going to play that hook to flat area. So it simply becomes three deep four under, even though we were looking like pressure weak, now we're bringing it strong, we're making you think as a quarterback, and you've got to be able to find those windows. Nice job by Heineke right here. Because the pressure comes to this side, we've got three receivers, we've got them overloaded. Attack, overload, where they're voiding with the pressure. See pressure, attack pressure, I like it, good decision. Now you got to make the catch. All right, now we go to the Packers game. Talked about in this game, they played a lot of man coverage, man combo coverage. So here we are, looks like probably a man again. What are we going to do? As we come down, motion, all we're doing is bringing 
a cover three zone dog once again. Okay, big guy right here is Indominus Sue. They have him standing up. He's going to come and bring pressure. They're going to bring five. Safety's going to come down. He's going to cover the flat. David's going to pop out here and cover the middle. We've got a guy playing on the other side in a zone as well. So we're just playing a bit of a zone coverage back behind it, just trying to read and wait for guys to come to our area. Force Aaron to hold the football in this case. Good job by the offensive line giving him time. And because of that, right, we've only got three guys underneath on this, on this zone dog. So there's going to be windows here. Boom, boom. And then he finally finds Lazard here in the middle of the field because he had enough time because they protected him. And this zone dog is going to leave holes, but you've got to be able to attack it and find the open guy if you're going to beat these zone dogs by the Tampa Bay defense. Now we're working into the Super Bowl. You've got your linebackers walked up, basically a three down look. Now here, all right, we're going to bring both of those linebackers. Not really sure what we're seeing. It looks like they're playing man, something back here, like three deep quarters. I'll show you a look in a little while where they do kind of a deep Tampa 2, what I call a high Tampa 2. Looks kind of like this, but you're going to see on this particular play on the snap, we're going to bring both of these linebackers and we're going to drop both of these safeties down to play underneath zones run this guy back bit of a cover three zone again even though we're bringing five guys we're going to be one short on the underneath but you got to figure out how we're covering this and where we're covering it you see those safeties come down oh got a shot right there a little higher angle we got a shot for a big play as the corner over here knows we're bringing pressure settles his feet a little bit we go a little higher angle, we got a shot right there, or we got a shot at this one out here. Got to find the voids, got to make this defense pay when they're bringing these zone dogs and you get a chance to block it up. Just missed right here by Patrick Mahomes and Hardman. But you see all the different looks that they bring with these zone dogs. Again, three-man front, got your linebackers walked up. We just saw this where they dropped the safeties down. It looks like exactly the same look. Are we going to get... The same defense on the snap. We are not going to get the same defense. So now what do we got? Exact same look. Last time they came, they came, dropped the safety down, dropped the safety down. This safety went back. This time, not going to happen. This time, we're going to show that same thing. Now we're going to drop both of these linebackers out. We're going to bring the corner. We're going to bring the nickel. We're going to drop this safety down. Still going to have our three deep back here. We're going to rotate the other direction. But now we're playing a version of the cover three zone dog. Again, just giving a different look. Showing you the guys up the middle. What happened? Corner's coming free. Nobody sees it. Patrick Mahomes, once again, having to run around and try to make a play on the run against this zone dog. And that's what it's all about. Force the quarterback to wonder what you're doing, how you're doing it, who I'm supposed to hit in this particular play, who's popping out. All those different things. So here's another look. We've got our four guys up front. You see that three safety type look in the back. So we saw them drop both safeties down for a zone dog. We saw them drop one safety down, drop the linebackers out for another zone dog. Now we've got those three safeties back there again. What are they going to do in this particular situation? Now this is where we talk about that high Cover two, it's what I call a high Tampa two. So in Tampa two, you always know that the Mike linebacker or somebody goes to rob that middle area between the hashes and he tries to stay higher than the receiver. So in this case, they're gonna do this with the zone dog. We're gonna bring pressure right here with the linebacker. We're gonna drop safety, deep half, safety, deep half. These corners can squeeze up and take the flat. We're gonna run this linebacker from the Defense is right side, all the way over there to take the hook on the left side. We're going to drop this guy into the mix so he gets a chance to read middle to take that hook on the back side. But all it is is making the defense or making the offense think, what are they doing in this particular case? And you see, they're trying to break out here. Think you have this, but now all of a sudden they're trying to squeeze down and cut that with their corner because they're playing cover two. Not something that they have shown in the zone dog world a lot. But here they are, making you think, making you get the ball out of your hands and trying to make you make a mistake. But if nothing else, 
get it to your guy, and we got to rally and make the tackle. But nice job there to get the ball out quick and find a void. All right, here we go again. Looks like a Tampa defense. Again, it's just a little different version. So we've got safety in the middle of the field. Now this safety's going back. What's going on? He's going to roll back here to a cover two. This safety is going to play what we call invert cover two. So he's going to become, I'm sorry, that corner is going to become the safety on the backside. This guy runs to the flat. This guy's going to come down to the hook. He'll play the hook. He'll play out there. And this Mike linebacker is now, instead of a safety playing the Tampa 2 portion of the defense, they're going to drop the safety in and they're going to play with their Mike linebacker. So just another shift and change up, an invert to the front side. Now they're sitting there. Now you got to try to find the void, playing two up over the top of it. Got to try to hit it, makes you hesitate. Take a little bit longer to get the ball on your guy, so they're right there to make the tackle. Another nice little change up that they've got. Here we go, three safeties again. We've seen the zone dogs off of this. We've seen the high Tampa 2. We saw the pressure with the Tampa 2. Now we're not going to bring any pressure. We're going to roll. We're going to roll. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to go to the hook area. We're going to stay in the hook area. We're going to drop down here to be the high Tampa 2 player with the safety. So now it's just rushing forward. No zone dog off of this one. We're just playing the Tampa 2, trying to keep everything underneath us but we're giving you different looks and making you think about it, check it down. Now we're going to rally and make the tackle with our speed. All right, here comes another one. All right, something that they like to do. They love to play blitz zero on top of all of this. So it's another look. We've seen the zone dogs. We've seen them bring pressure. We've seen them pop guys out. So now when they bring pressure, you got to expect guys to pop out. And then every once in a while, especially down in the red zone, Todd Bowles will say, I'm coming after you. I'm going to force you to make a play. I am going to go straight man to man across the board. Nobody back. We're going to leave ourselves exposed a little bit, but we believe all these pressure guys, we've got one more than you can block, and we are going to get to you before you can make us pay. Really well done here by Heineke again. Got guys coming through on edges, but he's able to plant his foot and hit this on time, and they get that first down against that straight man-to-man -man coverage. But it's not easy, and you're going to usually take a hit for that. Here we go again, down in the red zone. We're going to see that straight blitz, zero, man-to-man, -man, across the board, over here, Probably going to be free right here. Sometimes they'll bring an extra guy expecting this guy to block, but they're going to bring it all out, and they're going to expect you to beat them with the football. Here they come, straight man-to-man. -man. Got a guy coming free right in Drew's face. Got to be right on top of it to make the play because we got tight man-to-man -man coverage there. And defense wins, not able to make that play against that blitz zero. And here we go once again. Uh, it looks like blitz zero, right? Got everybody walked up here. Okay, we got a safety down here at, now, I don't know, eight yards, probably covering one of these guys. Man, 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 probably pressure off the side, man to man on the backside. But don't be so sure. We're going to make you think about it. I think, oh, yeah, it's blitz zero, blitz zero. Oh, wait. Here we come back with another zone dog. We're going to force the pressure, we're going to fake the pressure. We're going to have a little delayed pressure here. We're going to come off the slot here where you think it's man. Now we're going to step up and drop off. And we're going to step up and we're going to drop off. And we're going to play what looks like blitz zero. We are going to run back once again to our cover three look, dropping three guys underneath in the zone, bringing five, trying to confuse you and stop you from getting a big play. Again, nice job here by Heineke once again. This defender got to stay deep, but because of this pressure and because of the look, you're always wanting to jump things and stay aggressive. He jumps the out here. Similar to what we saw Kansas City run in the Super Bowl, had a chance for this deep one over the top. In this case, Heineke and the Redskins were in this game and had a chance because they made some of these big plays against those zone dogs that gave so many teams trouble this year. All right, that is fun stuff. I know, for an offensive guy, it can drive you crazy. 
Uh, it can get you frustrated, but to me it's fun stuff because they are challenging you every single week. When I played, that was one of the things I prided myself on was to be able to see and understand the different pressures, to see where they were going, the areas they were avoiding, and then trying to attack it. It's not easy, but it's a fun challenge, and that's what it's all about when you get to championship football is you've got to beat championship defenses, and that's what Todd Bowles and company were last year. Again, we're going to talk about the offense, and the offense did a lot of great things, but I believe it was the defense and these looks and the change-ups that they had that really kept those good offenses they played. Drew Brees, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, those are three quarterbacks that they played in the playoffs the last three games of last season that they had to beat, they had to defeat, and that was all because their defense kept them off balance and didn't allow them to get going and make big plays in those games, thus led them to a ring and a Super Bowl championship. But that's why we spent the week talking defense because really love what Tampa is able to do. They're young, they're athletic, they've got a coach that thinks outside the box, and they're going to challenge every offense that they play this upcoming year.